I don't know how to cook, said Betsy, but I think it's time I learned. She looked around the kitchen. Do you know what I'd like to cook first, she asked. What, asked Tacy and Tim. It's called everything, said Betsy. It's called everything because it's got everything in it. Tacy and Tib looked puzzled, and Betsy explained. A little bit of everything there is, cooked up in one pan. I think it would be delicious. I think it would be queer, said Tib. It sounds queer, said Tacy. What would it be like, I wonder? Well, said Betsy, looking at the ceiling. I've never tasted it, of course. Nobody's ever tasted it, because nobody ever cooked it. We're inventing it right now. But I imagine that it would taste like everything good mixed together. Ice cream and blueberry pie and chicken with dumplings and lemonade and coffee cake. Coffee cake is baked, said Tib. This wouldn't be baked, said Betsy, because Mama said we weren't to open the oven door. But we could mix it in a pan and heat it on top of the stove the way we did the cocoa. Tacy's blue eyes were sparkling. Why don't we, she asked. Let's, said Betsy. Betsy got out a frying pan, the biggest one she could find. Now we mustn't put in much of any one thing, she warned, or else there won't be room. For we're going to put in some of everything, absolutely everything there is. What should we put in first, she asked. She had never cooked before, and she didn't know how to begin. Bacon grease would be good, answered Tip. Lots of things begin with bacon grease. Bacon grease, then, Betsy said. Tib went to the icebox and got a spoonful of bacon grease. It melted in the pan. Betsy added some sugar and Tacy poured in milk. They stirred it together well. Then Tib brought an egg and boldly broke it. Betsy and Tacy stared with admiration as it sloshed into the pan. Tacy put in flour and Betsy got some raisins. Beside the big can of flour stood the cans of coffee and tea. Coffee ought to be boiled in a pot, objected Tib. Everything goes in together, said Betsy firmly. Everything. So coffee and tea were dumped into the pan. Here's tapioca, cried Tacy from the cupboard. Fine, put it in, cried Betsy. And cornstarch, put it in. And gelatin, gelatin's good, said Tacy. This is going to be good too, you bet, said Betsy, stirring. It doesn't look good yet, said Tib. I believe it needs some soda. So she put in some soda. Tacy put in salt and Tib put in pepper and Betsy put in red pepper. I didn't know molasses was so sticky, said Tacy, pouring. Betsy poured in vinegar, and Tacy poured in olive oil. Tib added mustard, and they stirred again. Tib was enjoying herself now. She was up on a chair poking into the upper shelves. Here's coconut. That's good. Hand it down, said Tacy. And chocolate and coca. Chocolate and coca, said Betsy, is just what this needs. They added butter and lard and an onion. My mother says an onion improves everything said Betsy as she tossed it in. At last, Tip said, now it's time for flavoring because we've put in everything there is and flavoring always comes at the end. What kind shall we use? Why, every kind, said Betsy. Every kind there is. But Betsy, nobody uses more than one kind of flavoring. Nobody ever made this recipe before, said Betsy. What's the name of it? asked Tib. Oh, its name is, let's see, said Betsy. Everything pudding would be good, said Tacy. That's right, said Betsy. Its name is everything pudding. <laughs>